Hi there, uh, Andrew Jackson here, ajdesignstudio.co.nz um, Just another SolidWorks tutorial This time looking at how to create a, a pillowed surface Sort of thing you might see on the back of an iPhone or or some other product A rectangular product with a, with a slight pillowing to the back or front faces So I'm going to start by drawing We're going to model a quarter of this, we're just going to do one corner So create the external wall, add some dimensions Now um, you could, uh, we're going to do a surface extrude by a certain, uh, just an arbitrary distance Actually, you know what? I'm going to um, use planes to control this because we'll set up a plane to set up the wall height and then offset a plane off the first plane to, to, uh, to control the pillow height. So there's the wall height there for the outside. Now I'm going to create another plane. Which will be the height of the pillowing. Just name those. Outer and then pillow height, right? So now the um, that first sketch, we're going to extrude a. Um... Oh, hang on, sorry, that's a thin wall. We don't want that. Insert surface, extrude, and we'll go up to surface and pick the outer. Plane. Okay, so that's our outer wall height. Now I want to draw a similar type of sketch which delineates the um, the flat area, say the back of the product, the back of the the, the surface, um, where the pillowing starts from. Make those uh, coincident, okay, and just put some dimensions. Going to dimension these uh, sketches individually because you may want a separate uh, to be able to control those independently. Okay, so now we'll go insert. No, no, we'll just extrude up to that. Okay, we'll pick that sketch. Insert, surface, extrude, up to the pillow height. Pillow height plane there. Okay, so now we've got the outside wall and we've got the inner surface extrude too, which is basically just used to control the inside boundary of the pillow. Now I'm going to put a... Uh, the outside corner on and we're going to change this from circular to curvature continuous okay so that's our outside boundary uh, outside radius so you can see the curvature there and the zebra see how they're flowing along there there's no break or sharp transition so that's curvature continuous um, I'm going to put a radius on the inside. The point of this radius is to control the pillowed corner, um, and you can actually play around with the with the size of that radius um, to vary the pillowing. Okay, now on the pillow surface plane, I'm going to just make a planar surface. So just convert entities of that wall we made. Yeah. So I'm using that inner radius basically, fill it too, to create that corner and then converting it into a sketch and then into a planar face. Now we don't need that wall anymore so we're going to hide that. Okay, so we can create a boundary surface between the two edges. So I've got the inner edge there and the outer edge. And then set the tangency condition to tangent to face. You can see there how it's swooped in there. 
We're going to change the align with other geometry to align to next section. Which straightens everything out. Okay, turn on curvature display. Have a look at the curvature combs. Okay, as you can see there, it's it's quite ramped. Um, we don't have any any control over the outside edge edge two um, we can extend the tangents length of the inside face but not on the outside because we've got no tangent condition so that surface we probably want it fuller on the outside can change this to um you can fudge it and put a direction vector on there and then pick a plane pick that face and then you can just play with the angle there, and flip it around the other way. So you can see there, curvature plot is much fuller and more consistent. But, I don't really like how the surface, I far prefer if that surface was going straight. Okay. That's even worse. Anyway, there's this. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. We'll just have a look at it. I'll show you another way after this. So there's a curvature plot. Um, it's just tangent to the, the planar face on the top at the moment. Can turn it to curvature, continuous. So you can see the black, the flat coming through, the curvature coming through. I'm going to delete that feature because there's a better way to control the um, the tangency on the outer edge. So insert a ruled surface, tape it to vector. I'm going to pick a plane, which is our vector. Select an edge. This is basically a control surface, so we can uh, control the angle and it will control how full uh, or flat. The, the pillow surfaces where it meets the outside wall. Actually, I'm just going to change this to the front pane. There we go, that's better. Alternate side, flip direction, alternate side. Okay, so I've got 10 degrees on there. That's probably a bit too flat. Just make it 20 for now. Now we'll, um, just for clarity, I'll hide this, face, this uh, surface. Okay, we'll create a boundary blend again between these two faces. Curvature and tangency to the ruled surface because we don't need curvature because that, that that's just construction geometry on the outside there. Um, there's no not going to be a, a, a tangent join afterwards so we just make it tangent rather than curvature continuous. Okay so we're going to straighten out the boundary there as you can see, and now I'll change it on the, there we go, much straighter. You'll see why soon. Okay, so there's the first surface. So this, now we can, you can tune that ruled surface and rebuild, and that controls how flat or full that surface is. Make it, the, 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 the curvature change gradually or abruptly. You can see there it's, it's it's very flat on the inside and then changes all of a sudden out. So it's a bit too much. We'll just drop this down again. Okay, and we can show the curvature combs. So you can get an interactive uh, interactive curvature combs while you whoops while you change the um, angle. Okay, there's an inflection there. We don't want that. Okay, we'll turn those off. We'll hide that. Don't need to see that roll surface anymore. And we'll turn our, our outer boundary on, our outer wall. Okay, we'll stick in the um, stick in another rolled surface as we did before. We're using the right plane as the vector, pick an edge, just fiddle with the direction and side until the face is aiming in the right direction. There we go. Okay, and we'll hide that outer wall again. Boundary blend, two edges. 
first edge again we might curve it to a device second edge tangent we'll just copy the settings over from what we have on the uh the first face we made okay align with align with section normal oh hang on align with next section no where are we there we go align with next section okay so we end up with much straighter uh boundary on the end face where we're going to make the corner okay we can hide the ruled surface we don't need that anymore curvature looks okay okay for the tutorial anyway okay we're going to knit these surfaces together okay right boundary surface one two edges and pick the second direction one two edges okay so we'll make the first two edges tangent face tangent face on the edge that is meeting the planar surface on the top and edge four we don't want to uh, apply any tangency to that okay just going to play around with the um with the tangent influences here just to see if uh, we can improve the plot at all no that made it worse you can see a ski ramp on the end there okay turn that back to zero try the second direction just on the one edge and nothing okay that's all right we'll just leave it like that for now okay curvature there's all right it pinches in the middle a little bit but the zebra stripe plot zebra plot's pretty good okay knit the knit those together so the zebra plot there's no abrupt um change of direction in the stripe so it's she's fairly smooth okay now this is where you can play with that inside fillet to try and improve things so that fillet just controls the in the inner pinch of the corner so i've made it larger which probably isn't ideal let's make it smaller okay so that's tightened up the pinch that looks better than it was okay curvature okay so there's less less of the blue in the middle of that corner looks fairly smooth mm, 30 no it's failed undo that it's the kind of thing you need to sit there and tune um, and and fiddle with the dimensions a bit you know until you end up with a um, more desirable result so I'm gonna undo that Yeah, it's better when it's a bit smaller okay so you can also um the sketch for the for the for the inside boundary so you can make that um asymmetric pinch it on one side you can also edit see if we can use curvature continuous it'll probably say no okay something's not matching in there even though we used um curvature continuous um fillets as the control geometry um solid works saying it's not it'll go curvature continuous there but you notice the curvature plot hasn't changed anyway normally you've used con curvature continuous um construction when you come to doing a, a last surface like that, if everything else around it is curvature continuous, yeah, it makes no difference uh, just to use um, tangent to face instead of uh, curvature to face. Okay, you can see here I'm just experimenting with changing the alignment of the end sections. So that's if you went normal. Uh, yeah, it's not too good, is it? That's why I prefer to go for a straight section. And look at the curvature plot it's not ideal so you could change that maybe just on one one edge straightens up a bit there might be some situations where you're using um a less rectangular form where um 
leaving those uh, those options alone will suit the geometry better, but in this case it doesn't, so I'm going to straighten them out again, just undoing. Okay, you should be able to put a uh, so fill it on the corner of there, okay? Yep. Curvature continuous fillet around the corner. Um, let's try, um, let's get rid of that. One last thing, we'll try the uh, changing the pillow height. So there's the pillow height plane, it was only two millimeters. Let's make it four. Rebuild. Okay, you can see the surfaces have flattened out because the ruled surfaces need to be adjusted. Looks like it goes hollow on the outside there. That might be what you're after. So you can see they're blue, it's going hollow. So, again, this is just tweaking. So you find the ruled surface and increase the angle until that surface becomes fuller. Now it's doing this trick where you can't click on the dimension. Okay, I'll just edit feature instead. Okay, just increase that a bit more. Alright, so that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Let's adjust the uh, other side. Same dimension. Okay. So there you have it. Um, um, basic uh, pillowed surface tutorial. Um, this is a pretty straightforward um, piece of geometry, there's far more complicated situations um, than this, but anyway, I hope this was helpful. Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Bye.